That was really off center. So before we get into the reasons why I hate playing live, I gotta show you guys my new go-tos for studio quality headphones. These are the HD58X headphones made by Drop, formerly known as Mass Drop, and they are the sponsors for today's episode. And these headphones are a collaboration between Drop and Sennheiser, so you know they're gonna be good. But what makes them unique is the open grill that allows music to pass in and out of the headphones. And Drop has tons of videos on their website explaining the open back concept. I use these for listening to music all the time now. I even use them for recording and mixing. They have amazing bass response. They have super tight high ends. Sounds really sexy. So yeah, if you're recording or mixing music, the open back headphones are essentially the professional's choice. So if you want to learn more about the open back headphones, just mosey on over to the link in my description and all new users get $10 off just for signing up. Cause really the best way to experience these is just to try them yourself. And Drop has a 30 day, no questions asked return policy, even though I know you're not gonna return them cause you're gonna love them. <laughs> so check them out. All right. So a few people have noticed that I don't really play out live. I don't know why I asked that as a question, but people ask me all the time, like, hey, Stevie T, when are you gonna play live here? When are you gonna play live over here? When are you gonna play live over here? <laughs> but no, I haven't played live in years, and there are reasons for that. And here's the first reason. Stages, they're just dark. I don't wanna fall flat on my face in front of thousands of people. <laughs> Did someone hear a knock? He didn't even get to sing Knock knock knockin' on heavens da ha hua What is a da ha hua anyways? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Please don't laugh at Axel. You know he's just gonna get pissed at you and leave the stage for laughing at his knock. Ow, okay, that kinda hurt actually. <laughs> Oh my god, he didn't leave the stage in a hissy fit! <laughs> Wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> and take a look at what happened to one of the greatest guitarists of all time, Skrillex. Oh jeez, okay, I gotta watch that again. <laughs> that looked really painful, yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, there was even a leg twitch there. Ladies and gentlemen, Skrillex! The stage wasn't even dark and he just ran face first into something. Does dubstep really make you that stupid? Dubstep. <laughs> oh, that was a double hit too, did you see that? Well, now he knows how we feel when we hear dubstep. <laughs> I don't like dubstep really that much. <laughs> Mm. Now, these stage incidences could have been avoided if you just watch where the hell you're going. I don't know, you know? <laughs> you know, it's not like I'm standing on the back of a chair like an idiot. <laughs> well, what did you think was gonna happen? You stood on the back of a chair! Chairs are narrow and tend to be top heavy. They can fall down. <laughs> I, I question her decision making abilities. And I, <laughs> and I love her attempt to play it off like nothing happened. Wow, good job covering it up, Brittany. You can barely tell you just snapped your ankle. I don't know who her dance choreographer is, but they definitely want her dead. Um, Brittany, I have this brilliant new idea for your stage show. I'm thinking you could, like, stand on a chair. Okay! Who would agree to that? Look at me standing on a chair just like an idiot. Brown crumb! Dubstep still sucks. Oh, and another reason why I don't play live? <laughs> stroke there. <laughs> what was that? Have you guys ever looked up the lyrics to November Rain? Pretty brilliant stuff. It goes My favorite part is when he looks out into the audience like, did anyone notice that? 
I noticed that. I... So yeah, sudden onset strokes. That's another reason I don't play live. I don't want that happening to me. You know, it's bad enough it happens to me in real life all the time. Like, I'm just walking down the street and someone's like, Oh, hey, man. And I'm like, Oh, hey, man. Except it doesn't come out like that. It comes out more like... And now one of the biggest reasons I don't play live... Why don't you play live, man? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because I don't want 500 pounds of sweaty man running up and like rubbing up against me and trying to kill me? I wouldn't survive that, okay? I'm 130 pounds sopping moist. So I'd be no match for Lenny. <laughs> and, you know, it was very nice of that man to remove his shirt beforehand. You know, I'm sure Slash really appreciated that. You know, having double D man teats rubbing up against your shoulder. It's great. It's great. Like seriously, look at him, it's like freaking Baywatch. Oh my God, Slash, you're drowning in a sea of fans. I'll save you. But it's okay, Slash, it could have been way worse. Okay, on second thought, it could have been way worse. Is something else. That poor skinny little guy in the right corner there just got taken out for dinner and breakfast. <laughs> oh my god, I hope he's okay. Okay. Where do we go? Where do we go oh, now? You know, that is such a good question. Where do you go now? Slash almost got killed. Where do we go now? Where do we go now? Maybe to check on that poor guy whose neck literally got like ripped off of his body. So one of my favorite hobbies is not getting things thrown at me. Take for example what happened to Axl Rose. And I apologize, I didn't intend for this video to be full of Guns N' Roses stuff. Purely coincidental. Camera on this Una cámara en esto, por favor. I wonder if the interpreter also translated the f part. <laughs> Can one of my bilingual friends verify that for me? Do you think that this is funny? Yeah. Do you think this is funny? To throw a raptor claw at Axl Rose? Well, it's not funny. It's hysterical. What if you punctured his skin? Thinking this is funny. <laughs> I really do, actually. <laughs> this will be the last time I talk about this. And now perhaps the biggest reason why I don't want to play live. Sound guys. Oh, that sound guy just got the stink eye. Hey, mmm. Playing afterwards really sucked. Seriously, sound guy? You couldn't have done this when they were butchering Prince? If you will, the hey, hey. That's directed to the sound guy, by the way. Hey! Hey! Stop sucking! I just spit a lot there. <laughs> sucking! <laughs> At least there's not a huge audience. See, I could never play in front of an audience that big. That would just freak me right the hell out. All right, so why don't we sum up all these reasons why I don't want to play live in the form of a live show. Here's me live. Hello everyone, I'm Stevie T, and tonight I'm gonna play you a solo from one of my YouTube videos. So I hope you guys... You gotta be 
you kidding? Are you kidding? <laughs> Our sound guy sucks! All right, all joking aside, I'm not saying I will never play live ever again. Maybe I would play a show or two with Dragon Force? But to start making live shows a regular thing, I could never see myself doing. I don't think I've ever admitted this in a video, but I, I was diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder. So I have a hard time with crowds and I have a hard time with traveling and just anxiety inducing things I have a problem with. Hence why I'm so happy doing what I'm doing. It's just me and the camera. Even if this video gets millions of views, Whatever. I ain't scared. Y'all know me. A live audience with more than 10 people on the other hand? So I know a lot of you guys like to play live. Why don't you guys let me know some stage in incident? Why don't you guys tell me some of your stage incidents down in the comments section? I'd love to laugh at you and your live incidents. Ah, I'm only kidding. I love you guys for watching and I love you guys in general. Bye. Dubstep sucks.